Hey guys, welcome to this week's flip video. So here you are exploring how many tens and hundreds there are in a number and using a tool um, called place value to help you solve that. All right, so I'm gonna draw a little table here that looks a bit like this. H for hundreds, a T for tens, and an O for ones. I'm gonna draw it up like this. You've probably seen a table that looks like this before. What this is, is a place value table. So when we have a number, all of the digits have their own place value. So let's start with one, a nice and easy one. Let's start with the number 10, okay? By writing it out in our table, we can see really quickly how many tens there are in this number. We look at the tens column, we look at the digit in there, and we can see straight away that one 10 makes the number 10. Let's try one more. What if I had the number 60? How many tens are in the number 60? Well, again, I look at the tens column, I look at the number there, and I can see straight away that six tens make 60. Try one more. What about the number 90? Let's go to our tens column. What digits down there? We know that nine tens make the number 90. So this is a really cool tool to be using to find out how many tens there are in a number below 100. Now let's look at what if our number was above 100. Let's start with this number, 100, okay? How many tens are there in this number? Well, if we look in the tens column, it's telling me that there's zero. So do zero tens make 100? I think there's a bit more than that. So what we need to do is start looking at our hundreds column and find out how many tens make a hundred. So how many tens make a hundred? Well, I know that 10 tens make 100. So I know that for this number here, that 10 tens make 100. So even though there's no one in our tens column, we need to look at our hundreds column to be able to work out how many tens there are. Okay, might seem a little bit confusing now, but I'm gonna show you this trick. If you covered up this number here, does that give you the answer? I've got 10 here. How many tens made 100? 10. Let's see if that works for another number. What if I had the number, um, I'm just gonna delete this out of the way. What if I had the number 240? How many tens are there in the number 240? Well, I know that there's two hundreds to make 200. I know that there's four tens to make 40. But what, how many tens are there to make 240? Well, what did I write down before? I know that 10 tens make 100, and 200 is double the amount. So 20 tens must make 200. And I still have the four, there are four tens. So to make 240, I must need 24 tens. Again, let's try that little trick of covering up that zero in our ones column. Does that give you the same answer? 24. Okay. So what I'd love to see is you guys using this place value table to help you solve this week's problem of working out how many tens and how many hundreds there are in a number. By writing it out using your place value table will help tell you how uh, the value of each of your digits within a number. If you're confused, go back, rewatch the video again, pause it, try it, and see if you can get your head around it. Good luck.